The grid and um, buildings are two things that we as a society interact with every single day and there is uh, no getting around living in buildings except for the most extreme people in our society and there's no getting around using electricity. Um, however, um, it's remarkable how little most people understand about these systems uh, and that's the reason why I enjoy teaching these things uh, the most. In terms of my research, um, because these are ubiquitous things and they are also um, together about 70% of the electricity or energy consumption in the U.S. Um, uh, they're ripe targets for improving um, the carbon footprint of uh, the nation and the globe. And so I find uh, a lot of satisfaction in working on things that are in one sense quite pedestrian. Um, you know, we interact with these things every day and don't really worry about it but in the other sense have some of the largest possible um, impacts in terms of our um, environmental footprint, especially as it relates to climate change. We're working on what I consider to be the next generation of demand response ideas, which is to use flexible electricity consumption to balance out um, variability from renewable electricity generators like wind and photovoltaics. So in circumstances where the electric grid operator um, was unable to perfectly forecast how much generation there would be from wind or solar. They need something to fill in the gap or to um, back off production if there's an excess. And that can be done with the demand side rather than today's current strategy of using the supply.